Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dooley. <laughs> We've been out. It, we slept in till like, what time is it? Yeah, we slept in till seven this morning. Do you want me to get you covered up? He wants to be covered up. He likes to nest. Okay, that's better, mom. See, he likes that better. Yeah. <laughs> He's withdrawing back in. No appearances this early in the morning, Mama. Okay. So, we're in the yarn bus. I slept in. Oh, my goodness. I slept in. And I slept really good. The furnace in the back works. The furnace in the front doesn't. Uh, I'll have to replace that probably next year. But the furnace in the back did the job. <sighs> felt so good and so this morning we're working on <clears throat> baskets crocheted baskets for my poor aunt martha and her broken leg and her owie hip and yeah so <clears throat> i went to church last night and i gotta say <sighs> we now have the best preacher oh my goodness robert is amazing he doesn't pull any punches, but he is wonderful. Um, and Robert moved into the preacher's house. And our good friends um, who were living there, um, her name was Linda, and she's a knitter and crocheter. She had to leave behind a lot of yarn. So he's like, do you want this yarn? I'm like, pfft. That's a stupid question, Robert. And then he, he explains to me that there's like three or four big totes of yarn that he needs. And it's not a very big place. He needs the room. He's like, I got to get rid of this yarn. I said, well, let's do a knit and crochet get together in the basement on Wednesday then. So if you're in, if you're anywhere near the Treasure Valley in southwestern Idaho, Wednesday, which is October 6th, we will be in the basement of the Emmett Church of Christ, and um, it's going to be like from noon to five, and there'll be coffee and, um, you know, a few snacks. Some people will bring snacks, some won't, but uh, yeah, we'll make sure there's, you know, there's snacks, and we always really enjoy doing this, and for some reason, when I put the word out there last night, um, that we were going to do this, you know, I put it out there all around the Treasure Valley. I got a ton of response, like more responses than I normally do. I think people are ready, right? I need coffee. Hang on. <laughs> My perked coffee. Okay. So yeah, people, I mean, one gal, she wants to bring her son. He's homeschooled. I'm like, yeah, you know, do, does he need, you know, do you need to bring an activity? And she's like, yeah, I'll bring an activity, but he's also started crocheting. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's all about, right? Hopefully we'll see some of our locals who who are kind of part of our online community, but community, but have never joined us in the basement. And I gotta say, we got a lot of room. We got tables and chairs and I will make sure the coffee is flowing, right? I've got a whole package here that I'm going to take with me and, and leave with the church. So they have, so that they have coffee. And so we're doing our treasure Valley knitters and crocheters, um, get together. Now I started, you know, that Facebook group, the Treasure Valley Oregon Idaho Knitters and Crocheters uh Facebook group um quite a few years ago and I handed it over to a uh one of our online community friend crocheters. Girl, I hope you make it this time. <laughs> She's doing a great job with it and it's nothing more really than just a a place to, you know, show off our work. And, um, I advertise the Pacific Northwest Yarny Social there quite a bit. And now it's like pff, postponed. So, but that's great. We're going to get together on Wednesday, October 6th, 21, in the basement of the Church of Christ in Emmett. So if any of you are, you know, inclined to come on over the hill into Emmett, you know, you can message me on, um, Facebook, you can get a hold of me. You can leave a comment under this or whatever you want to do. 
we've got quite a bit of room down there. Um, <clears throat> it's an old, old building, old, old building, but, uh, we can accommodate some people. So, and there will be, the whole point of this is that we're going to be giving away that yarn. So <laughs> everybody, I had one gal say, I'm intrigued about the free yarn. <laughs> <clears throat> I might have some scorched earth yarn. You know, I need to do an update on scorched earth. I haven't done one. Um, I might have some scorched earth yarn. If I get some yarn out and sort through it tomorrow, um, maybe I'll find something <laughs> I can donate. Um, and if not, you know, I know that I can, um, give yarn away here, right? Um, but hopefully we'll get through those totes. I think there's like three or four and, you know, people will be able to grab some yarn out of there and, um, take it home with them. And I know that, um, Linda kept her, this isn't like dead people's yarn. <laughs> you, we had a gal, we were talking about, uh, dead people's yarn <laughs> on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this isn't dead people's yarn. This is our, our good friend, Linda, who had to go to, um, her and, um, her husband moved to Texas. So I got to find out what that indicator light means. So there will be free yarn at our little Treasure Valley, Oregon, Idaho, knitters and crocheters get together on this Wednesday. So you know, maybe I'll do a little video and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow is catch up day. Um, I've got to get some coffee shipped out. I need to get some LOC and scrub bud shipped out. Um, it's, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get all caught up on that. So, um, now that I finally have internet <laughs> and email, I don't know when I'm going to get to all the emails. Where's my stuff? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Um, it's just going to take me two or three weeks to get all caught up on that. So please be patient there. Now that things are working again, we got it all ironed out. <sighs> My jaw doesn't hurt quite as bad. I can still feel it, but I got a mouthpiece, you know, boiled last night and then molded to my upper, upper teeth. And that worked really well last night. It didn't bother me at all to sleep with that. And we were warm. And it smells so good in here right now. There goes Sandra. She's going over the hill to get some garden stuff. Somebody grew some squash. She's going to get some squash. Doesn't that sound good? Mm. So that's what's going on here. We're crocheting and hanging out and being warm and just watching like... I really like the Discovery Plus app that I started watching. It's really nice. Check it out. Okay. Okay. So if you, if any of you are in the area and want to join us on Wednesday afternoon from, from noon to five in Emmett, Idaho, you know, get a hold of me. Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.